Hi there guys, this is Jetpack Quick and today we are back playing Ragnarok Online and today I will be discussing you what are the main functions of a healer and a warper. Uh, not a healer where you will go around uh, with your party and heal. A healer where, which is in that memo place or a safe point place where you could only just sanctuary and also a warper guys. This is two are really simple tasks but this is really a key role guys because in war of imperium you just can't go all in in that castle in last minute or rushing in that castle if you can die you need a full hp guys so having a sanctuary uh, two priests or more than three priests uh, two priests of sanctuary one buffer uh, and one focus in warping guys so after you could heal up full hp there's a bu buffer so you could have all of your agility highly uh, and then go all in in the warp and just go so this is really more important in last minute attacks and also in defending your castle because mostly if you die you need to go back right away and defend those entrance guys so the main function of this sanctuary or a healer in that save point is very very important so make sure you have a healer, a buffer and a warper and war of imperium so you can have a big chance of defending and attacking right away uh, even though if you have a big guild and you don't have this uh, this really set up in your guild it could take time to rest back or having a reinforcement back in that castle to defend your imperium guys so it's really really needed to have a warper, a buffer and a healer guys a sanctuary level 7 or 10 10 is the best so hopefully this trick will help you guys in war of imperium so I will see you next day so hopefully you like this video and please do subscribe if you're not and I'll see you once again guys. Rock on.